Okay, this is called uh, Zhongxiao Fuxing. I think it's like near uh, Zhongxiao, hold on. <laughs> Zhongxiao East, I, more or less. Um, so what we're gonna do is just walk directly that way. We got a, a, a fan of the channel, so he's watching to see what we're doing. And we're basically gonna go um, down this main street, but we're kind of on this main area, all the way down to this area. And, um, and this is called uh, Da'an, I believe. So what we're gonna do is just kind of highlight uh, what it is to kind of walk down this area a little bit. So we're gonna walk um, down this direction. I guess he's waiting for his girlfriend. And so yeah, this basically what we're gonna do is, is kind of walking towards um, Zhongshan is what we're doing. Check it out, Taipei 2023. That's what we're doing. And um, and just kind of these main streets. There's all these kind of rain guard things. So I noticed those everywhere in Taiwan, like kind of these rain guard things. So we're just going to walk all the way down the street and just kind of try to capture, uh, you know, a little bit of a Taiwan experience. This is not a popular area or a place where people generally would walk around, but I figured I'm going to um, just take the camera anyways and walk down it. And um, I'll try to give you some expression impressions of Taipei, there's some kind of cool stuff down these side streets, for one. But this particular video, we're just going to walk directly down one street and just kind of see what's here. And we'll try to make it as interesting as possible, so... There's another 7-Eleven right there. So we're just going to walk directly down. And if we see some people, we'll take that spot where the people are at. So I think that's... I just kind of notice all the observations that meat looks pretty good. Actually, they have this stuff everywhere in Macau. There's like little, um, it's like all the tourist areas have that in Macau. What is that? Beeching Hong? I don't know if there's any connection. This one has beer. Okay, so we're just gonna walk straight down. And my goal is to walk from one station to the next and just give you kind of an idea of uh, what some of this might look like in Taipei. One of the things I've definitely noticed is that uh, people drink a lot more than Mikhail, for sure. For one. And so it feels like there's a lot more drinking going on. There's also these kind of things like that. Like there's like that one right there. And this one right here too. And we're just kind of going to wait for this street to go across. And I think up above, I think is where the road comes. This one right here. We're just basically going to walk straight down and just kind of keep on going as soon as we uh, get our green light here. I think we're just kind of, I think this green light might take a little while. So yeah, there's go go. So we basically started that way and we're basically going to, now we can finally move now. Lots of um, scooters everywhere as you can see look at all the scooters everywhere and I believe that's another station right there too so we kind of got stations everywhere around here and he's gonna keep on strolling we've got another Sogo neighborhood yeah. it's kind of cool in the lighting if I don't move the camera around much, it should be fine. So this is the same station right here. Zhongxiao Fuxing. So I believe everybody is going that way. Which is kind of unfortunate because that means that I think that... I think um, everybody is going the other direction. Oh, it's like a dog. I thought there would be a rabbit for the Chinese New Year. So we basically came down that way. That looks kind of cool. Circular building. Yeah, it's funny, I'm in Macau, so I always see these really cool buildings that I really like, and then all of a sudden I'm in Taipei, 
I see that one and if I saw that in Macau I'd be like wow that's amazing but this one kind of feels like there's a lot of them like this in Taipei and these cool architectural designs you don't really expect so much so okay we're gonna keep on walking down just kind of check we got all the Chinese New Year stuff everywhere here So I think that's a Sogo department store. I'm not so sure how people are receptive to the camera or not, by the way. When I'm in Macau, I feel completely comfortable with the camera walking down the street. And, and when I'm here, I feel like people kind of look at it and then sometimes they tell me that, that uh, turn it off or whatever. And it looks like we're going to be kind of on a, a lonely stretch of road here. So I'm kind of debating, I either have to engage you with conversation or I have to turn it off and we're just going to give you a little bit of background we're walking towards Zhongshan I believe which is closer to I'm going to show you something to the left real quick there's a scooter by itself there all these ones there's actually like kind of interesting stuff I think if I was um, daytime I could do some of these other alleys a little bit I think there's a lot of drinking. I feel like the people that are in front of me are kind of involved in some horseplay. This group right here, so uh, maybe not. Maybe they're in, into a. I guess they're just having fun. It's like a family. It looks like one of those things that drunk people sometimes do. So I was a little bit unsure. Okay, we're gonna get a lot of people coming up here. So I think my goal is to hit another station that I can that way I can highlight this and say like walking from this station to that station and so I can see like tons of people straight ahead so if you can just hang with me don't don't uh if you really feel like you need to you can jump ahead just slightly there is a girl up here coming up for people that like that they, they view the channel if I have a thumbnail with a girl in it so it's not for people that like that there you go for people, at least you're watching the channel still. Now I might lose you, but there's a lot of people coming up here, so so don't go away yet. So we're gonna keep on moving down. There's a lot of convenience stores everywhere here. We've got seven seconds, six seconds. So that's what I mean by like, all these like there's a 7-Eleven and a Family Mart. So I think what happens is that I think down in these side streets off of the main street, they kind of put all the convenience stores so that that way, you know, you come off the main road and then you go down into your neighborhood. There's some convenience stores there so you can pick stuff up right on the way home, right? So I think that that's why I'm seeing a lot of convenience stores like that. Okay, so this area, when I was at a distance, I could feel like there's a lot of people as I'm walking, I'm not so sure. The main goal here is just to kind of give you a feeling for Taipei and all the different aspects because it changes a lot. And just to give you a little bit of context, today is a Thursday, but it's a little bit of an unusual Thursday because of the um, Chinese New Year coming up next week. So I heard that some of these people will have the holiday off and they might be going out a lot tonight. There might be kind of a different kind of vibe because of it. So I think we're seeing some of that tonight. And let me just see, I think we're kind of coming up into some area here. I'm just wondering if there's a train station coming up soon. Because my goal is to get from one station to the next. You see, it's kind of interesting right over there is a washing machine, a laundry mat right there. Okay, so we're gonna keep focused here. I just keep going down our Target Street here. So we'll see, I have to entertain people more. Look, 
Entertainment is over there. They're washing hair. Actually, that looks pretty good right there. It's kind of like beef with, um, kind of looks like kimchi or rice or something like that. Okay, we're gonna keep on walking. Kind of an interesting street. Feels like a, a good walking street. Like the kind of street that if you lived here, if you lived nearby, you'd have a lot of shops to walk to. Still waiting to get to that station, the next station. But we got a lot of stuff along the way here. Here's kind of a whiskey alcohol shop. Oh, it's called the whiskey shop, yeah. It's definitely whiskey. So let's see what they got. Live Naked Whiskey at its most up Oh no. Okay, so. Huh. It's like it really is a whiskey shop. They got Japanese whiskey. All kinds of different whiskey, some wine. Sake. I guess I was originally thinking that they might have some other alcohol too, but it's basically all whiskey. And I think our station is coming up here. So once we get up there, I'll, I'll stop the camera. But, um, not so many people here. But I think it's still interesting. I think people still want to see what might be here. Actually, this guy to the left, I think he might be homeless. And when I was up at Taipa Station the other day, I was surprised how many homeless people there were. Somebody was telling me that's quite common. It's always been that way. A friend of mine that was living here about 20 years ago said that was common 20 years ago. Uh, this guy might be just, just taking down boxes though. Might not actually be... Eh, hard to say. Got a 7-Eleven up, coming up here. And I think the station is at the end of the street. So we'll just keep on going down. I think I see a foreigner to the right here. Let's see, we get a little bit closer. 7-Eleven, yep. So we're gonna go, I think, I think that's the station right there. Once we get to that station, we can turn off the camera and I feel like I've done my deed of showing you what a main street looks like at nighttime. In general, it feels quite comfortable, quite safe. A lot of these roads are quite wide, type A. Actually, it kind of reminds me a lot of being in Osaka, which I lived in before. Okay, I thought I was coming up to a station, but I might not be. We will see. Old phone booth. It's a little bit too dark right now, so you might not be able to see much, but I think we are coming up to a metro here. So I think it's going to be right up here. Usually I'll see these kind of stuff anyways with um... Let me just see here. Side streets. Red light. Red light. Okay, let me just see. I think, I think as soon as I see a marker, I'm going to end it. Because I don't think this is a very good video taking right here. 53 seconds to go across one of these streets here. Just to give some reference, we basically came to Zhongshao Jisheng Station. And um, basically what I did is I just walked all the way from there. And I'll label that station all the way to here. And I'm actually going to be putting this in the front. So I walked from there. To here. Whew. So okay, so I'm gonna do a little intro. Then you get the TV start from there. Come all the way to here. Almost here. Okay, that was another scene of Type A. There's so much more to see. So just keep on checking on the channel. And checking it all out. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Yeah.